Today, the Badlands is a 244,000 acre treasure. It was established as a national monument in 1939 and a national park in 1978. The wall that lies within the park extends for about 60 miles through South Dakota. It separates the upper prairie from the lower prairie that lies to the south of the wall. The Badlands is a re result of geologic forces of deposition and erosion. The Pier Shale layer is uh, the oldest layer, about 69 to 75 million years old. Uh, it was deposited by an ancient sea. The uh, yellow mounds uh, formed when the sea drained away as a result of the upheaval of the Black Hills and the uh, Rocky, Mountain, uh, Rocky Mountains. The Shadron Formation was deposited about 34 to 37 million years ago by rivers that flooded this area. There was alligator fossils that indicate a subtropical uh, forest type climate existed at that time. The uh, Brule Formation uh, formed about 30 to 34 million years ago and there's red layers that run through this uh, formation that are fossilized soil, soils called paleosols. The uh, Rocky Ford ash uh, deposits appeared about 30 million years ago and they formed the lower layer of the Sharps formation. This is a distinctive marker bed and it's used uh, uh, quite often for geologic mapping uh, because of how distinct a layer it actually is. The Sharps Formation, which uh, is a result of, of wind and water uh, and, and uh, drying and cooling, uh, deposited about 28 to 30 million years ago. Today, the Brule and the Sharps form Formation uh, form the peaks in the valleys of the, of the Badlands as you drive through. That's uh, quite prevalent as, as you uh, drive through the park. The... Uh, the Badlands contains the richest deposit of mammal fossils on Earth, and because this region is continually eroding about an inch per year, fossils are continually being found. In fact, just this summer, a little girl named Kylie Ferguson discovered a fossilized skull of a saber-toothed cat, and it's, uh, it's known as the Hoplophanus. Um, uh, as you drive through the park, you're going to come to the Ben Rifle Visitor Center, and it, it, you you have to stop at the visitor center, and you can find uh, you'll find further explanation of the uh, layers and the fossils uh, and the plants and animals that are found in the in the Badlands. There are more than 400 plant species that are found in the park, from the prairie coneflower, the uh, Missouri pincushion, the uh, Prairie Rose, I don't think I have a picture of the Prairie Rose, uh, is also found here, as well as the mixed grasses, obviously, that are prevalent within the park. There's animals found here as well. There's over 37 species of mammals found within the park. Bison, obviously, the most recognized. Uh, we've all seen bison as we drive through the park. Uh, there are prairie dogs, and uh, the black-footed ferret has just been reintroduced into the park. The black-footed ferret the ferret uh, uh, relies on the prairie dog. The prairie dog is the main ingredient in the diet of the black-footed ferret. Uh, also found in the park, there are uh, bobcat. You'll find bobcat in the park. Uh, bighorn sheep. As you drive through the park, oftentimes you'll see the bighorn sheep grazing along the side of the, uh, of the road through the park. There's uh, pronghorn also are, are prevalent in, in the park as well. There's smaller species as well in the park like the painted turtle and the prairie rattlesnake and we've all seen signs uh, or if you drive through the park at least you'll see signs warning you of the prairie rattlesnake to be careful as you walk uh, through the park. There's harvester ants. So we have the large bison all the way down to these little harvester ants that you'll find in the park. Uh, we've talked about plants and animals. What about human beings? Well, the first known inhabitants were the Paleo-Indians. They were mammoth hunters, and they were uh, present at the end of the uh, near the end, end, of, end of the Ice Age. They were followed by the Arikara or the Re Indians, about 1500. Around 1700, the Cheyenne, Kiowa, Pawnee, Crow, and Sioux or Lakota 
uh, migrated to the area. And the, uh, they relied heavily on, on buffalo for their survival, both for, for food and for, for warmth. The Sioux Nation displaced those other tribes about a century and a half ago. As time passed, the uh, whites began to uh, explore and settle in this area. And this caused tensions with the Native Americans. Uh, those tensions often led to, to skirmishes. In 1868, a treaty in Fort Laramie was signed basically to give the Black, ha Black Hills region back to the uh, 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 Native Americans. Well, that lasted until gold was discovered in about 1874. And when that happened, of course, there was uh, a tremendous rush to come into this area. These people wanted to uh, claim their share of the riches. And the tensions uh, once again flared up. And, and uh, the, this led to the Battle of the Little Bighorn in 1876. This is better known as Custer's Last Stand. And because of that event... Uh, the government confiscated the land. They took the land back, and there's discussion yet today, ongoing disagreement as to land ownership and, and, and the uh, uh, boundaries of, of the area. Well, in 1907, uh, the railroads began to push into this area. There was a railroad line that was built through Interior that is on the southern side of the Badlands area. On the north end, another railroad was built through Phillip and Wall. So uh, exploration and settlement and interest in this area uh, continued and at this point was not going to be stopped. And uh, uh, in 1922, Senator Peter Norbeck introduced the first bill in Congress to make a portion of the Badlands a national park. And this discussion continued quite, for quite some time into the future after 1922. There were several locals that were involved in that discussion, in that promotion. Ben Miller was the original owner of Cedar Pass Lodge, was involved in those discussions. A.G. Granger of Kadoka, a local businessman. Leonel Jensen, a local rancher. And of course we've all heard of Ted Husted, who is the owner and operator uh, of the Wall Drug. Uh, G.W. Mills was a doctor in Wall. He was involved as well as, as, well as, as uh, several other locals that were involved. So uh, the discussions continued. Uh, in 1939, President Franklin Roosevelt formally proclaimed the establishment of Badlands National Monument. And it was to be under the uh, management of the National Park Service and still is today. It was the 77th National Monument uh, uh, created. In 1959, a visitor center was completed in the uh, Badlands. It was uh, dedicated by the then Secretary of Inter Interior, Fred A. Seaton. In 1991, that visitor center was renamed the Ben Rifle Visitor Center after the first American Indian uh, to serve in the U.S. House of Representatives. Uh, representatives. Mr. Rifle was uh, born in Parmalee, South Dakota. His mother was a Brune Lakota, and uh, his father was a German-American. Uh, today, the National Park Service and the Ogallala Sioux Tribe are working on a general management plan for the south unit of the park, and uh, those uh, discussions are ongoing and, and possibly will continue for a little bit at least until they decide how that should be uh, handled. The Badlands National Park is a treasure, and it contains treasure. The fossils that are found here uh, and continue to be found are, are millions of years old. There's plants and animals, both fossilized and those that are uh, part of the current ecosystem, uh, obviously treasures. For me personally, the beauty of a rugged and ever-changing landscape this truly is a visual treasure as you drive through the park and you see these uh, formations uh, and how the shadows fall on them. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, human history that continues to be written today is part of the treasure. Uh, when you read about the people that, that lived here and the events that took place over time, uh, priceless, uh, priceless information and uh, this History, as I said, continues to be written uh, as evidenced by the ongoing talks between the uh, Park Service and the tribe about management issues.